Now here's a way to work out some of the tight muscles that you may get between, between your shoulder blades. You may feel it right along that sh the edge of your shoulder blade on one side, right or left. We see it a lot with desk workers who are sitting, you sit in this forward hunt position. Um, if there is any pain in this area, first off, we want to make sure that it's not coming from the neck. A lot of, a lot of times, issues from your neck can refer pain to that area. And if it ever does, we want to clear the neck, make sure the neck is good. And then we can work on this area, whether it's the rib or a muscle between the shoulder blades. If there's a muscle, here's an easy way you can work on it at, at home. Grab a lacrosse ball and a wall. You're gonna place that lacrosse ball between you and the wall and between your shoulder blade and your spine. If you have it more discomfort on the right side, do on the right side. If it's on the left, do on the left, or just do right and left, either, either one. You're gonna put that between the shoulder, shoulder blade and the wall. You're gonna roll the spine, the ball up and down, find a tender spot, find a little knot, get one right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my arm out in front of me, do some circles, little five counterclockwise, and then clockwise circles. After I do five of each, I'm gonna go stretch my arm across my body and do go from there. Do this five times. And I'd repeat that in three different locations, three or four, three or four along the shoulder blade. Okay, go up and down. Now if there's discomfort along this the top of the shoulder, you might need to change the angle of it. You might need to lean more at the wall and get up there. And it's, you can do some arm movements. This is really gonna help if you do neck movements of, this is really gonna be helpful if you do some neck movements with it. With the ball at the very top of the shoulder blade, the neck movement with the ball at the very top of the shoulder blade, the neck movement that would be best would be tucking your head down and away, tucking your nose into your opposite armpit. If the ball's on my right side, I'm gonna tuck my nose down to my left armpit. I'm repeat that several times. You can also stretch, hold that ball there and then stretch bringing your ear to your opposite shoulder as well. Again, that's for if the tightness is up closer to the closer to your neck or the top of the shoulder, shoulder blade. But when it's up there, we want to move the neck. If it's down between the shoulder blades, a little bit lower in that middle back, middle to upper back, then we want to add some arm movements and arm stretching across your body. <laughs>